everyone, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we are going to be autofilling my first three plots for my Hard Mode Island. Um, down here, I've got all of my fish that I am collecting for CJ. By the time this video goes up later this week, I'm sure there's probably going to be more. Um, so if there is, I will post, like, a little picture on screen or something of the sort. But let's go ahead and head on into Resident Services. And we will get our first three plots. Um, I will probably run around do all the furniture and stuff off camera because typically that can take a little while, especially if I don't have all of the resources. And see who we get for our auto flip. I can't speak autofill luck. Um, okay, need furniture. Each housing kit comes with a list. You can build everything DIY style. Yes send me whatever I need and I will go ahead and get that done so we can have some new neighbors. Alright, so let's head on out and find some plots. Okay, so I found the very first spot for plot number one. I'm gonna put it like right here. It's kind of in behind where my museum is, so it's probably not the most convenient spot, but it's an open spot that I can access very quickly. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and get this done. Head on over to find a spot for plot number two. Apparently my phone is ringing. Um, how goes usual search for housing? I guess it's going okay. I have one place down. Um, the box is... Okay. Well, I definitely don't make it look decorative when I do this. Okay, so I think this is going to be the spot for number two. Um, I was making my own path because I am doing hard mode, so you do kind of have to, you know, experience some pixel art, and that was kind of what I was doing there. So let's see if I can place this down. It's going to get rid of my path, but that's okay because this was just my testing spot. Okay, I feel like that's alright. I feel like I can work with that, so let's put that down here. Um... Okay, so we have one more spot that we need to find, and I'm going to try and make it across from my bridge, I think, just so that everything is accessible. Um, flowers up on the cliff, recipe for a ladder, keep up the good work. Alright, let's find this last spot. Okay, so I have officially found my last spot, we're going to place it right here. I had to dig up a couple of trees, which is why there's a hole, but... Um, I feel like that's a good spot. We will work with this. Alright, perfect. So, there we go. And, okay, so we have a mole cricket. I will say I'm not the best at finding the spots for the mole crickets immediately, as you can see. Um, I know that he's in this general area. I just don't exactly know where, but... I've also come to realization the way that I do this, typically, depending on where the mole cricket is placed, it allows me to lock him in that I have time to grab him before he gets away. I didn't mean to do that. But it's kind of like a win and lose situation here, but I swear he is, like, he's in this area somewhere here. Um, okay. I'm gonna try like right here. Oh, there he is, perfect. So let's go ahead and grab our net really quick and grab this mole cricket before he gets away from me. There we go, so that's my first mole cricket. So we just submitted the very last thing for all of the plots. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run over here to resident services which is luckily literally right here. I did this plot last on purpose. But it took me a bit because I had to go travel to a Nook Mile Island and get some more resources to be able to finish some stuff. So it took me a little while, which is why I'm glad I did all of that off camera. But we are going to go ahead and talk to Mr. Nook and how things been going. Everything's finished. Okay. Um, that's my friend. You finished everything. Let me give you a token of my appreciation. What am I getting? Ooh, a fence. Okay, perfect. I will take some fencing. I'm not mad about that at all. Um, simple wooden fencing. Perfect. 
So I can now go ahead and grab more fencing from the Nook Stop if I want, which is good. So I'm going to quickly check and make sure that I've done my Nook Mile Redemption over here. I have. So I can go ahead and sign off. We can go ahead and head on out and find who is at our plots. Or t I guess technically my plots. And see who is joining the island. So starting villagers with Agnes and Tank. So honestly, I feel like I got kind of lucky. We'll go ahead and get a really quick little picture over here to try and see if I can get maybe like a good thumbnail. But I feel like this is not going to work very well. Um... Eh, not my favorite, but, you know, I can work with it, I guess. But okay, let's get this over and done with. Who is the first? Drago. Eh, I don't hate him. I don't love him. He would not be my pick for my lazy, but maybe I'll end up really liking him. Who knows? So let's head over here to plot number two, which was the last one we just finished. Who's here? Oh my goodness, Bluebell. Okay, I'm happy about this one. Bluebell is very cute. I will take her. And then grab my vaulting pole and we will head on over to see who my normal villager is. I will have pictures of all the villagers popping up on screen. They'll probably be in the bottom left corner. And the last one is Nana. Okay, I can work with Nana. I don't typically love the monkeys, but I feel like I can definitely work with her. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically six days a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications when I post, go ahead and hit that bell down below. Thank you for joining my autofill journey with me today, and I will see you all next time. Bye, lovelies.